Hey everyone, it's Tracy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm using a stamp set from Lawn Fawn. This is the Summertime Charm and I'm starting with the mason jar. So I'm going to be stamping this on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock with my VersaFine ink. It's in the onyx black color. So I'm just stamping that onto my cardstock. It got a little bit out of frame there, but I think you kind of get the gist of my stamping. <laughs> And then on, I'm going to stamp it again on a piece of vellum. And I'm using this particular ink because it's a pigment ink, so it stays wet a little bit longer. And, and I will go over that and add some clear embossing powder. So I'll tap off the excess. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing for my cardstock that I stamped. So I'll also add my clear embossing powder. Alright, and then as long as my ink is out, I'm also going to stamp the label part with that same VersaFine ink. And I'll also go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I'm using the thanks that comes in the same set. I just like the size and the font that this um, sentiment is in. I'll stamp that right in the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover that with my embossing powder once again this is clear embossing powder and then I'm going to heat all of those so I'm going to melt the embossing powder on both this label and the mason jars and then I'm stamping this little scalloped border with the navy blue ink from Hero Arts along the top part of that label Alright, so then in my mason jar, this is the one with the white cardstock, I am stamping different stars. I'm using the solid star, and I am I have the lemon chiffon ink from Simon Says Stamp. So I'm just kind of randomly scattering those and stamping them inside of the jar. And then I'll also be stamping the outline of the star with the sunshine ink from Simon Says Stamp. And again, I'm just randomly stamping these within that jar. So after I finished stamping that, I went ahead and fussy cut it every piece out. So I did this mason jar, the vellum one, and my label. So I'll adhere my label down to the vellum jar first. Just doing that right in the center. And then I'll take a little bit of adhesive and put it on the back of the vellum piece. And then they're going to overlap. So it's going to have that little bit of glass look to it with the vellum. A little bit more frosted glass, I guess. You could you could use uh, stamp this on uh, acetate piece so that it looks like real glass as well. But I'm just using some vellum today. So I'll layer all those together and then there is my jar. I'm going to color in the top lid with a silver Prismacolored pencil. Just gives it more realistic look and have that silver cover. And I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not doing any blending or anything. I am just purely using that colored pencil to color the top part in. Alright, so after I get that part done, I'm going to move on to my background. I have a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, and I'm going to be using the Ganzai Tombi watercolors. I kind of like to switch it up because I have all of these different mediums, so I just like to use the different mediums that I have. You could always use Distress Inks to create this background, or... Um, Peerless watercolors or any watercolors that you have. The one thing I do like about this is that it has this little bit of gold watercolor. So I have that metallic gold to kind of match the stars that are in the jar. But you could just use yellow if you really wanted that color in there. But I'm using a darker navy blue color. I'll just 
add some water in there and I'm doing this really kind of messily so I don't want any real order or anything to the background but I'm just adding more color and more water there and then I will come in and add the little bit of gold once I have that blue down just because I really don't want to mix them up I kinda wanna try to keep them separate I'm just adding a little bits of gold in there and I really like a blue and gold color combination um, I just think they work really well together and it looks more kind of elegant and then I also splattered some of the gold all around on that piece of watercolor cardstock So to make it blend a little bit better, I just kept adding some water to it. And then I went ahead and let that dry completely, or you can air dry it, or dry it with your heat tool. So I'll go ahead and adhere that onto my white A2 size card base. My favorite color card base, I think I use it on pretty much 99% of my cards that I make. Alright, and then I'll adhere my mason jar down. So I'm going to use some 3D foam squares. I have the large ones from Best Creation. So I'll cover that and then remove the little backings. And then I'm going to place that down right in the center of my watercolor. And then I have these little star wood veneers from Studio Calico. So to match the stars that are in the jar, I just wanted to add these onto my card base. So I'm just adding a few kind of scattered on there. And then I'll go ahead and adhere them down with the multi-medium in the matte finish. I just squirt a little bit onto my card and then press the wood veneer down. And the nice thing about the matte finish is that it dries matte so you can't really see it on your card if there is a little bit that squirts outside the edges of the wood veneer. And then I'm going to cover those stars with the Irresistible in the Gold Shimmer. It's kind of like glossy accents but it's a lot more liquidy and this one has a gold metallic finish to it so since it is more liquidy it it is a little bit harder to work with because it just likes to run wherever it wants to it's a little bit harder to control so you just have to be careful of that and then I let that dry completely and then that is my finished card for today, so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys back here next time. Bye!